guys welcome back to my channel we are in the car packed and we're going on a little I was gonna say weekend getaway but it is actually Tuesday so we're going on a little getaway um, we are headed to Round Top Texas so last year during the pandemic a lot of people were looking for things to do kind of um, within driving distance and we discovered Round Top Texas it's an hour and a half from Houston um, kind of halfway between Houston and Austin and it is such a little charming town I'm so excited to show y'all around Round Top All right, we just pulled up and we're here at the Frenchie Boutique Hotel in Round Top, Texas, right by downtown Round Top. So we're excited to be able to just walk up the street. Here's the first room. So nice. So they actually have a few different um, types of lodging and this is I don't know what they call it yet, we'll find out, but it is so pretty and you have a direct view of the pool. Here's the second little unit. It's very similar, but they're all unique. And here's the third bungalow. I love the pink colors in here. And this one has a chandelier above the tub, which they're gonna get one for all of their bungalows, but this is the first one to get it. And then here's the bathroom. And here is a close-up of the pool. Looks so cute, very Palm Springs vibes. And then we got a little hot tub over here. And here's another unit that they have. This one sleeps four people, really great for families. I have two twins and it looks like a king. All right, here we are inside the big unit or the big house. When you first walk in, there's this bedroom here and a bathroom and y'all this house is huge we already just we just walked through and it is massive so I'm not going to show all the bathrooms because there are lots of bathrooms but here's one little common space they have this little um, bar and refrigerator so satisfying and then here's the second common space and y'all look, my name is on the wall. What a fun surprise. And then over here we have a dining area. So cutely designed. I can't stop saying cute. I'm probably gonna say it a million more times, but here is the kitchen. It is beautiful, so beautiful. And then to the left of the kitchen, there's this little breakfast nook and it is probably one of my favorite areas all right so that was the house tour so pretty right um i we will leave links to the um airbnb um so you can book online but um like i said each of the rooms can actually be booked separately or you can book the entire house or the bungalows over um on the other side of the property round top is actually known for their antique shopping so that's why um this place is decorated so adorably and um I mean, all of the places that we've stayed at in Round Top all have really cute decor, which makes sense because Round Top is known for their antique shopping, um, which hopefully we'll get to do a little shopping later so we can show y'all around. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we got all of our content inside and we just shot this little campaign with GoPuff and Topo Chico and now we're just relaxing in the pool. It's so relaxing. We've re literally been sitting here, I think, for like an hour or more. Getting our tan on as well. We are changed and we are getting ready to go over to the main house. I've just been going through emails and I'm kind of getting things ready for a post later today, but I just looked in the mirror and I realized I didn't put sunscreen on while we were at the pool and look at this terrible tan line. I don't know if you can see it, but it is spotty and it's so ugly. Oh my gosh. It's pretty bad. Visa has confirmed it's pretty bad, but 
hopefully it'll even out later. Maybe we'll go to the pool tomorrow as well. Um, but anyways, we're gonna finish up some work. We're waiting for Amanda to shower and then we're gonna go over to the other house. All right, we just shot another campaign real quick, and now we're digging into the trip. That doesn't even work. Pick it up. Say hi to Brenna, everyone. She's our private chef for the night. She's doing our four-course meal. This is the first course, which is the peach course. <laughs> the peach. This is the peach course. All right, we're working on course two now, the beef tartare. Brenna, can you explain kind of what you're doing? Yes, so I have some toasted brioche, finished with a little bit of olive oil, salt, of course. Then I have the beef tartare, it has capers in it, whole grain, Dijon mustard, some shallots, salt and pepper. And you make your tartare a little bit different, right? Yes, so I sear the beef. So it gets a little bit of color on the outside. Um, and then I chop it. Pretty, pretty coarse, coarser than usual by hand. And I think it gives it a better texture. Now we're gonna go in with some fried capers. And I'm just gonna sprinkle those on. Okay, now I have a sous vide egg yolk. So the cool thing about the egg yolk is it's actually fully cooked. It looks so good. And the chives. There we go, guys. Beautiful. We'll leave tartar. Just got back from our four course meal with Brenna. It was so good. And it was so fun to like watch her plate and um, cook everything in front of us. Such a cool and fun experience. You can actually book her. She typically comes to Round Top to cook for the guests here at the Frenchie, um, but you do have to book in advance. Um, and I forget the pricing, but if we can find a link for her information, we'll leave that below. Um, but we are stuffed and tired, so I think we are gonna go watch a little movie in bed and then call it night, but we'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm headed back over to the main house and we're having a little brunch made by Brenna. Um, we saw her up early this morning, so we're excited to try the food, especially after last night, the dinner was amazing. So, all right, let's go in. All right, it's almost lunch time. We have a fruit plate and mimosas, and of course, the camera eats first. After that delicious brunch, we headed into downtown Round Top where there's Royer's Pie Haven. They also have a diner where they have amazing southern food, which we're gonna go to later, but we had to stop by for a little post-brunch pie and some coffee. All right, now we're at Junk Gypsy to do a little shopping. It's one of the only shops that are open right now, but this place is really cute, so we're gonna show you around. All right, so we thought this place was going to be open based on Google. <laughs> now we're trying to get some photos now because it's actually closed. So we're just doing it through the glass. Um, so sad, but I guess we're going to head back to the hotel and wait for things to open. All right, we're here at Lawyer's Cafe, a must stop. 
if you're in round top. They ended up just getting some food to go. Look at this spread. They didn't even see that. What the hell was that? <laughs> so good, guys. Okay, <laughs> I'll go slower. This is the pork chop. The Savannah Jeez. sandwich. Yeah, which I'm really excited about. There's some goat cheese in there. Um, salmon, fish sandwich. Pork loin. Pork, pork loin. And something else. Oh, this one's a tenderloin sandwich. Oh, this sandwich. is the tenderloin sandwich. This is what Misa got. And some pie. And some pie, because you gotta go and get some pie at Lawyer's. All right, y'all. Enjoying the hot tub now. Have my toe girl in the phone doing a little bit of um, caption writing because I didn't get to it earlier before we left for a round talk, so. Good morning, y'all. All right, so I, I kind of just forgot to vlog yesterday slash we also didn't do much yesterday, just kind of relaxed. I started watching this show called Love Life on HBO Max and I kind of got hooked. So I kind of stayed up late and finished that last night. Um, there are 10, 10 episodes, no big deal. Um, I just tend to do that sometimes whenever I get hooked on a show, like I just have to finish it or else the, I, that's all I think about. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> woke up a little bit later today since I stayed up late um, and packed everything up, started making some coffee and we're gonna start packing up soon. Thank you so much for watching our travel vlog to Round Top, Texas. I know it was a little bit boring since we went during the week. If you guys do end up going to Round Top, I highly recommend going Thursday to Sunday because that's when a majority of the things are open. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.